Well, what's going on guys and welcome back to a new video. My name is Joshua Daniel George and in this video I am going to show you how you can generate thousands upon thousands of page likes for either your own or your client's Facebook pages. No, I don't waste no time. Well, what's going on guys and welcome back to a new video so like i said in the introduction in today's video i'm going to show you how you can generate cheap page likes for either your own or your client's facebook pages so what you need to do is go to business.facebook.com go to the ads manager and then click on engagement and then from here you get a drop down menu with free options i want you to click on page likes Obviously, you can give your campaign a name. So we can call this page like campaign test. Um, I don't know, test, it's fine. CBO, don't need to switch that on so we can continue. From there, select the Facebook page that you want to generate the page likes for. Lifestyle Design Mastery is fine. They give you access to name if you want as well. I just wanna quickly interrupt this video and basically mention to you guys that I have a free social media marketing course and you can literally download this course if you are subscribed to my YouTube channel. So basically what I've done is I have created a custom audience with Google Ads. Uh, for those of you that are subscribed to my channel and you guys will see a pre-roll advertisement on one of my videos where I basically give you the direct link to download this course. So it's an unpublished link on Teachable which you will only see if you are subscribed to my channel. So if you want a free social media marketing course, all you need to do is subscribe to my channel and then you will see my advertisements. So without further ado, let's hop back into the video. And now what you basically need to do is decide for yourself what kind of page likes do you want. If you're just starting out and you want volume, then obviously in terms of locations, you can just go worldwide. So you uh, remove basically the audience that they already include for you and then select worldwide as an audience there we go and as you can see we can potentially reach 1.9 billion people and we can generate um, anywhere from 573 to 1.7 thousand uh, page likes a day with a budget of 25 euro okay and one thing that you guys need to understand about the page like uh, is that it uh, the only reason why you're basically doing this is for credibility, for social proof, because people that like your page, more often than not, they won't really see your content anyway, because the engagement on Facebook pages is absolutely dreadful. I think it's like down to like two, three percent nowadays. So if you've got a uh, hundred page likes, then only two to three people will actually see your content that you're posting on it. So the whole point of having a large uh, Facebook page audience is strictly for social proof and credibility. So that if people go onto your Facebook page, they can see, okay, this is a legit business. You know, they've got the page likes, they've got the content. And, you know, from there, they, they feel that they can trust the business and, you know, look into it further. Okay. Now, if you are generating page likes for the sole reason of getting more people into your Facebook group, for example, because that is a quick little workaround. If you want to generate uh, more people into your Facebook group, you can run a page like campaign for your Facebook page and then invite them into one of your groups because they've liked the page. So if you if that is what you want to do, then obviously here you will need to go a bit more specific. But when you are just starting out, when you just want to build that credibility and social proof, then I highly recommend you guys just do worldwide because as you can see, with 25 euros a day, we can generate uh, anywhere from 573 to 1.7 thousand page likes a day. Okay. Now, if, for example, you've got a bit more money and you do want to go a bit more specific, then what you can also do is just target the tier one countries. So United Kingdom, um, United States, Canada. Um, what else have we got? New Zealand. There we go. Um, Ireland, I think that's all of it, isn't it? Um, Australia, even. Australia, there we go. And as you can see, the amount of page likes that we are now generating is much less. The potential reach is also much less, but the people that will like the page are of a higher quality because we're only targeting the tier one countries, okay? So if you've got a bit more budget, then this is what I recommend you guys do. 
then in terms of the ages and genders etc just leave it all as is why because we just want to target as many people as possible and just get that volume in okay so no detail targeting you don't need to switch up the genders etc and obviously exclude this is automatically done by facebook but just make sure that you exclude people that have already liked the page because there's no point in asking people to like your page if they've already have them okay then in terms of placements you can just leave it on auto placements why because you can only um use the news feed anyway so the facebook news feed on desktop and mobile is the only um basic placements that you can use so you can just leave it on automatic placements anyway and then what you can potentially do uh, if you want is add a cost control if you don't want to spend more than let's say 50 cents a page like or anything like that but to be fair if your audience is large enough the page likes will be relatively cheap anyway so um i just leave that as is and uh, just focus on daily budget so in this case it's 25 euros uh, what you can do is you can run it continuously and then you will need to switch it off yourself or you can set a start and end date if you only want to run it for one week for example and you want to make sure that it goes off after one week um i usually run it continuously because i'm in the business manager every single day anyway so i can just switch it off myself okay from there you can select the Facebook page that you want. And uh, as you can see, I've selected the Lifestyle Design Mastery Facebook page here. You can select an image or uh, basically here, you can only select the one option, which is the single image or video. And then this is where you can select the image. So what you can do is you can edit the image here, change image, and then you can upload your own photo or what you can also do is select stock photos and add a photo from here. So for example, obviously lifestyle design mastery is about working from your laptop, um, living the laptop lifestyle. So what you could potentially do is see what comes up if we type in luxury. And these are all Shutterstock images. And the great thing is that uh, Shutterstock basically have an affiliation with Facebook. So you can use these Shutterstock images for free. So all the watermarks that you see here will be removed as well. So don't worry about that. Um, let's see, well, what can we do? Let's see what happens if you type in laptop lifestyle or laptop life maybe. Just waiting for it to load. And then for example, we could choose this one here. Continue. Wait for that to load. There we go. It seems to be pretty slow today, guys. Well, temporary internal error error. There was a temporary okay, that's no idea what that is. Ah, there we go. Go back to mobile. Watermark won't appear on the final image. Okay, well then we'll just show you guys the desktop one for now anyway. So this is what it looked like. As I mentioned, the shutter stock, um, basically watermark will get removed. So don't worry about that. And then in terms of the primary text, that is literally the only thing we can still change. Uh, we can't change the, objection, uh, the um, objective because obviously it's just page likes. So we can't do anything with that. Um, but in terms of the primary text, basically they get this from the about section of your page. So if you're unhappy with that, then obviously you can remove that um, or change it up in your about section of the Facebook page, or you can just change it here. Uh, ditch the corporate rat race and learn the skills you need. Yeah, that's fine. What I usually do here is basically do a learn how to and then XYZ. Or if you have an e com store, you can just say see our page for XYZ. So let's say you're running this for a, I don't know, an e com store that sells shoes, then see our. Um, you know, I don't know, our shoe catalog or anything like that. If you run this for an info product, learn how to, and then in my case, it's uh, basically start your own social media agency and live the laptop lifestyle. Okay, and then from there, um, obviously, you know, we can have the pixel installed if you want. One thing I do need to mention, if you are running this on Worldwide with the objective to basically just generate social proof, then you cannot use people who like your page as a middle of funnel audience. So that's just something to take into consideration that uh, one of the middle of funnel audiences is people that have liked your page or have engaged with your content on Facebook. And you cannot use that if all those people are from Bangladesh and India and stuff like that. Okay, so that's just one thing to take into consideration that if you are running a worldwide campaign, you will get a lot of cheap likes from third world countries, but uh, you will not be able to use that as a uh, basically a proper audience for retargeting, okay? So from there, all you need to do is click on confirm and you've set up your very first page like campaign. And this is probably hands down the easiest way to generate page likes is just to give Facebook the objective to do what, what it is that you want, which in this case is page likes. And then from there, you can get them to uh, basically generate page likes for you, okay? So just a quick recap, if you want social proof, run it worldwide. If you've got a bit more money to spend, run it in the audience, uh, basically the country that you want uh, to target if you have a local business which only targets let's say 
um, one city and then within like five kilometers around that just go countrywide anyway because like I said we just want volume to start off with we want social proof we want um, basically to have that credibility for if people go onto your page okay so I hope you got some out of this hope you enjoyed this video leave the video with a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and also comment down below what you'd like to see from this channel next subscribe to the channel for more and I'll see you all in the next video